Catch the women as they share Christ's amazing love through the Word of God, forgiveness, law and commandments, healthy lifestyle, Sabbath, heaven, stewardship, baptism, and the Great Commission. That's Christ's amazing love presented by women starting June 15th at 3 o'clock p.m. Only here on Hope Channel, the television that changes lives.
to all our viewers. Thank you for following this series on Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me. Allow me to appreciate the South Philippine Union Conference Shepherdess International or SI Coordinator and Women's Ministries Director Sister Pinky Gulfan for organizing this series and with the cooperation of all our missions and conferences, SI coordinators and women's ministries directors as speakers and also to all our participants. And of course, to our Hope Channel personnel and the support of SPUC administrators, directors and office personnel. We give all the honor and praises to God for this wonderful time to proclaim His love. We pray that God's amazing love is touching your heart, your mind, and decide to love Him in return. We have been studying a series of what Christ's amazing love have done, is doing at present, and will do in the future. Let me just flash the past topics with the presenters and you can search it in the YouTube, Christ Amazing Love with the names of the following. Christ Amazing Love teaches me through the word. It was presented by Mam Pinky Gulfan from Cagayan de Oro City. The next topic was presented by Ma'am Marifi, Marifi Patalinghog, Christ's Amazing Love Teaches on Forgiveness. And the third one was Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me, the Ten Commandments that was presented to us by Ma'am Marilyn, Marilyn Moraldi. The fourth one, the fourth topic, was Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me the Healthy Lifestyle, which was presented to us by Mem Shirley Bacos. The fifth topic was Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me the Sabbath, which was presented by Mem Beth Rosa. And the sixth topic, Christ's Amazing Love teach, Teaches Me About Heaven by Mem Alice Gooting of Osami City. And the seventh topic was Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me Stewardship by Ma'am Sandra Salarda from Sambuanga. And the eighth topic was presented to us by Ma'am Nempha Ubos from Butuan City, which is the Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me About Baptism. And today, today's topic is Christ's Amazing Love Teaches Me the Great Commission. The theme of the Bible is Jesus and His redeeming love. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are one in creating man, one in redeeming him from sin or from Satan, and one in ultimately bringing the faithful ones to heaven. The God is love is ringing from Genesis to Revelation. Love is the foundation of everything. Thus, Jesus was willing to leave heaven and came down to earth just for the sake of you and me. Why? Here is his mission statement. Christ's mission was for the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. Or, kay ang anak sa tao may anhi sa pagpangita. Og pagluwas sa nawala. Makita sa Lucas uh, 19.10. Yes. No wonder why God's first question to men after he sinned in the Garden of Eden was, Where are you? God was looking, was seeking for men who was hidden among the trees, thinking God has not seen them. Where are you? I miss you. I love you. I want to see you and be with you. Let us now walk and talk together in this beautiful and fresh garden I especially made for you. Where are you? God sought men because he loved him so much. He is the man whom he fearfully and wonderfully made after his own image and likeness. He is the man whom God made all things he needed before he created him with his hands and breathed his air into his nostrils. 
Although Adam failed, he still wanted to show him that his love is constant for God is love. It is his character. It is his nature. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God, in his amazing love, assured him of his forgiveness by giving the promise of a woman's seed, who is Jesus, who will crush the head of the serpent or the Satan, found in Genesis 3, 15. After assuring them of the promised Savior, he did not leave men alone. God made garments of skin and clothed them. The animal killed represented Jesus as the lamb, and the garment of skin represented the robe of righteousness of Christ that he will give us when we accept his life, his death, his resurrection, and intercession in heaven right now for us. John reinforced this divine response when men fell into sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. What a sacrificing love. Now, how about the Great Commission? Matthew 28, 18 to 20 is referred to as the Great Commission. Nahitabo kini sa dayon niyang pagkayab ngadto sa langit sa pagpadayon sa iyang redemptive love in saving us as our mediator. Verse 18 of Matthew 28 says, Mi duol si Jesus ug miingon kanila. Gihatag kanako ang tanang gahom sa langit ug sa yuta. Busa panlakaw kamu ngadto sa tanang katawan sa tibuo kalibutan ug himua sila nga akong mga tinunan. Ug bunyagi or bautismo sila sa ngalan, sa amahan, sa anak, ug sa Espiritu Santo. Verse 20, Ug tudlu sila sa pagtuman sa tanan nga akong gisugo kaninyo. Ug hinumdumi, ako maguban kaninyo hangtod sa katapusan sa kalibutan. So, mga higala, this is Christ's disciples' great commission. Kindly note the following observations. Number one, it is a complete job description or action plan or KPI. That means K performance indicator. Very clear. Claro kayo, dili tamalibog. And second observation, it is his personal instruction to his disciples. Ikaw ragyod ang gitagaan ani nga instruction for your personal benefit and then it is a, a special personal call for all his followers so dili gayud di ay ni pwede nga mag-appoint ko or ikaw og proxy nga moingon ka ah sige naman ko dagan kwarta mo mo sildo lang ko og layman hindi pwede kinanglan personal gyud kung mo sildo ka kung maka afford ka magsildo ala sige no Sweldo kay makatabang na sa mga laymen pero mo appeal gihapon ka sa buhat personal. It is with great assurance of His loving presence, support, and inspiration as we go in love and faith until the end. Oh, sa pagkatahom sa iyang plano, alang ka na to. Nagisulti dito sa katapusan nga until the age, until the end of the age, or until the end of age. So, ang bukot pasabot, sige-sige yun di ay ning himuon. Kay kanunay man, always man siya, mag-uban ka na to hangtod sa katapusan sa kalibutan. Walay honong kini, mga higala. May COVID or wala. This means atong himuon ng lifestyle no sa pag-share o sa pag-saksi. Maunag yun na ang imong kinabuhi kung tunay nga na-experience mo ang nakong gugma ni Ginong Jesus. Nga bisag asa, bisag kanus a season or out of season, bisag kinsa atong saksihan sa maayong balita kay gusto man sa ginoong nga malu.